feels good to be out riding again. I took yesterday off, my back was bothering me, so I just stayed at home, stretched it, iced it, laid around, was a little lazy, a lot lazy, however you want to look at it. And it uh, feels good to be out riding even though it's 90 plus degrees out today. This video is going up on Labor Day, so I guess it, uh, it's appropriate to talk about work. And in this case, riding to work, riding my scooter to work. Last week, I rode my scooter four days out of five to work. Monday, I took the train. So after riding to work for a few days, um, I decided it'd be kind of interesting to break down the numbers and figure out if it was cheaper to drive than to ride the train. Not that it really matters, I'm just gonna continue to ride. And if need be, take the train. Obviously, there's gonna be bad weather, I'll take the train. I don't really wanna ride for two hours a day in rain or worse but um, so I did a little math um, I'm out riding so I may screw up the numbers a bit or not get them exactly right but I'm gonna put them up on the screen and those are the correct numbers even if I'm completely wrong so the scooter has been getting about 56 miles to the gallon um, it's about 38 miles round trip every day works out to be about 190 miles a week if you ride all five days and it works out to be about um, I think it's 3.39 gallons of gas at the current um, cost of premium gasoline that is about eight dollars in gas uh, the train ticket is $27.50 I think for the week um, and it's $24 a week if you get a monthly pass so just that it's it's a lot cheaper obviously eight dollars is a lot cheaper than 21 or 20 or uh, yeah 27 or 24 but the other thing I wanted to factor in was uh, the wear and tear on the scooter after doing some research on the internet, I came up with a figure of $200 per 3,000 miles for service and maintenance on the Vespa. The reality is it's probably a bit higher than that, but that's the best number I could come up with as an, as an estimation. $200 per 3,000 miles works out to be $0.07 cents per mile times 190 miles a week works out to be roughly uh, $13.30, I believe. When added to the eight dollars and change um, for gas that works out to be twenty one dollars and change which is a bit closer to what it costs to ride the train so i want to go over some of the pros and cons in my situation for riding the scooter to work versus taking public transportation which in this case is a train the first con is, is that the train is temperature controlled Whereas the scooter is not, uh, so you know it's still pretty hot outside in Austin, and then it's going to get cold. But the counter to that, the the pro in my opinion, is that unlike public transportation, when I get to work, I have a vehicle that I can use to drive around town if need be. I can leave work whenever I want to. I don't have to be on a set schedule. So kind of the same theme. Another con of riding the scooter is you're kind of beholden to the weather. Obviously the weather calls for torrential downpours all day long. I'm probably going to find alternative means of transportation to work, which either means driving my car or having my wife uh, give me a ride to work or take, most likely taking the train or taking a bus. I mean I guess I could ride in the rain if I had rain gear, but it's going to take even longer because people in Austin have zero idea how to ride in the rain. It always freaks them out. Traffic is horrible. So I'd just be sitting in downpour rain for even longer and that would be pretty miserable. Of course the reality is even taking public transportation when it's raining outside, you still have to wait on the train platforms which don't have the best rain coverage. And you, I currently still have a half mile walk from the train station to my office, which is, if it's really downpouring, 
even an umbrella doesn't really help. Well, I don't have the actual information. I'm going to go on a limb and say that statistically riding the train is safer than riding a scooter in traffic. So that would be another con against riding a scooter to work. But the reality is the one pro that kind of outweighs them all for me is that I get to ride for two hours a day. Well, you can read and listen to music and, and whatever on the train. That's cool. What I'm doing most when I'm riding the train is, is thinking about getting home and going riding. And now as we start to move into fall, there's less and less sunlight to ride when I get home. I guess the reality is eventually even commuting, I'll be riding in the dark both ways. But, I don't know, I just can't complain about two hours of riding every day, even if it is in traffic.